This is the episode two and also last episode of our series on multi-agent systems with ADK. In last episode, we covered what is multi-agent system, what are the different agent types in ADK, and how agent hierarchy works. In today's episode, we will level up by learning the three workflow agents that orchestrate tasks, also three communication mechanisms that let agents communicate with each other. By the end of today's episode, you will learn how to structure flows and get your agent talk to each other. And let's get started. The first part of today's episode is workflow agent. So we already know agent can form hierarchy, the organizational chart from last episode. But how do we control the flow of work? That is where workflow agents come in. We have three workflow agents, and the first type is sequential agent. They're like an assembly line. So each sub-agent run in a fixed order. They're passing results along. It is perfect for case like you fetch data and do the cleaning and analyze and then summarize. The second type of workflow agent are parallel agent. They're like a manager assigning tasks to three employees all at once. It is really great for use case like independent tasks. For example, you're fetching data from multiple APIs simultaneously. And the third type of workflow agent are loop agent. They're like your debug again and again until it works. So loop agent run tasks again and again until a condition is met or meeting the maximum iteration number. The second part of today's episode is how do agents communicate with each other? You know, from last episode, we know hierarchy, and just now we talk about workflow agent, but how do agents actually talk to each other? So ADK gives us three communication mechanisms. And the first of them are shared session state. You can think of it as a shared whiteboard. So one agent write its result and pass it to the next agent, and the next agent read it from this whiteboard. For example, an LM agent can save its output to the state, and another agent can pick it up and read the state output. The second type of communication mechanism are LM driven delegation. That is where it gets smart. A coordinate agent acts like a CEO. It will look at the request and decide, okay, which sub agent should I delegate to? For example, if the request is generate an invoice, and the CEO will route it to billing agent. The third type of communication mechanism are explicit invocation agent as a tool. Here, one agent can call another agent like a function instead of using it as a sub-agent. So you wrap the target agent as a tool. The parent decide, okay, when should I invoke this tool? For example, a parent agent doing analyze might call a calculator agent as a tool whenever math is required. So you may wonder, what is the real difference between agent as a tool to sub-agent? In this diagram on the screen, you can see the difference between them. To summarize, a sub-agent is part of an organizational chart and is always managed by its parent agent. An agent as a tool is like bringing a consultant. You call them when you need it, but they're not part of your core hierarchy. All right, let's quickly wrap up on what we talk about in today's episode. We talk about workflow agent gives the orchestration pattern. We have sequential pattern, parallel pattern, and also loop pattern. We also talk about three communication mechanisms through agents. We have shared session state, LLM delegation, and explicit invocation. Together, this makes your multi-agent system not just structured, but collaborative and flexible. And that's it for our two episode beginner series on multi-agent systems with ADK. If you want to practice, don't forget to check out the links in the description. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the future videos. Bye.